Welcome to the tutorial for Pixel Melt and Mosh. This is a uh, data mosh kind of effect that is created in R Resolume using the same kinds of techniques. However, it's not using the uh, hack of uh, corrupting the file, the, the P uh, frames. Instead, we're uh, capturing a uh, like an image of the uh, the stopped uh, motion and then it is wiping it away so to give you an example if I push this button here you'll see the effects that that creates as soon as I instant as soon as I push this uh, mosh start button it will instantaneously take a capture of that particular moment and start melting it away while that is happening this motion threshold here at the below it will basically uh, select how much of the, the image is, dis is disappearing or clearing away. Uh, this is created by basically uh, repeating the animation on itself and as it repeats it wipes away the mask in the background. Um, so if I push the mosh button you'll notice that it's not doing it as much here but as soon as I move the motion threshold, it clears away much quicker. So this is something to consideration or to keep in consideration that this is the thing that helps to control uh, how quickly the melt and mosh happens. Uh, so once again, let's just, I'm gonna back this up just a little bit. I'm gonna hit the, the mosh button. You'll notice that it is melting. Uh, this is uh, controlled by using the melt speed will control how fast it melts. Uh, the melt rotation, which is uh, exactly that, it'll rotate left and right. Uh, and then there's also the option to scale in and scale out. So let's just start that up. You'll notice that it is uh, slowly um, moving into the frame. And you'll notice that on the left or the right hand side here that some of the animation behind the scenes is starting to show um, but not as quickly as it was before and that is because again the motion threshold has been set high or low uh, and so as i increase that you'll notice that now you're starting to see more of the frame this is a good kind of way of creating this kind of animation. It's good for all kinds of crazy things. Uh, for example, here's just an example of, a, uh, you know, it's, it's moving around the frame, but it's also, it's giving it visual interest. Uh, there's a multitude of diff different examples. So uh, here I'm just gonna hit the button and you'll notice that it, it kept that frame uh, and it's just, it's got this beauty to it. So that's that one. And then uh, this one, in this particular case, uh, I started the melt and mosh. And then what I do is I can turn off my hue and rotate um, break. And then when I move this, it'll start to clear out the melt with the new color of the mosh, of the animation that's playing in the background. So the pixel melt and mosh is good for this kind of effect where you want to transition from one color to another and you just want to give it some extra little panache. Uh, that's, a, that's a good way to make that happen. So again, uh, here is, uh, this is another example of the pixel melt and mosh. So I'm going to stop it and then I hit start again. You'll notice it's uh, going the opposite direction. And then as the animation is playing in the background and the white, uh, luminance of the white starts to clear away, uh, it wipes it completely uh, away. So it's a nice effect. It gets that mosh, that data mosh effect. So same thing here, Pixel Disco. Uh, this was another um, anim uh, wire patch that I had created. Uh, if you hit the mosh start, it's starting to melt through, right? Um, let's do that again. I'm going to hit uh, the mosh button off. I'm going to take the threshold all the way back to the left so that it will stop the frame completely. I can hit the hue rotate break off and then when I m move the motion threshold, as I move the motion threshold, you'll notice that the purple is being replaced to uh, the pinks and reds. 
this will eventually f clear the field. Um, but if you're looking for a way to transition out completely that you don't want the red to show, you just move your motion threshold all the way to the left. And as the animation is playing, it'll completely clear the field. Uh, and then finally, you can just, if there's like little bits left, right, you could just uh, wait for that to clear or you could just hit the motion stop button and it'll, it'll remove what's ever left. Here's one final example. I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, it's melting, but it's only melting in certain areas. And the reason why is because the blue and the gray and the white and the background, the actual animation is just not bright enough to remove the, the mosh that or the melt that is there in the front. So again, I move up the threshold and it'll just completely clear the field. Uh, I hope you find this very interesting. This has been a, a very unique kind of experience. Uh, this is different from what I typically normally do, but I really did enjoy putting this one together. Uh, questions, comments, complaints, concerns, you can always send them to my email address, Jacob Misick, M E S I C K, at gmail.com. Uh, thank you very much for your interest in this uh, patch. Um, I really do really appreciate your business. Thank you very much. Have a good day.